Mr. Harris. Yes. Two characters talking. We were mostly two characters talking about other characters who were also men. <laughs> I, would like to, uh, I would like to rectify that. Absolutely. By, by saying that, you know, it didn't happen without the incredible, incredible work of some incredible, talented women. First off, Hilda Stark, who was a production designer. Uh, secondly, Lynette Burnett, who was the costume designer for Chicago, and Patricia Fields, who was a haute couture uh, designer, yeah. and came to do our costumes in Las Vegas. She had a shop on West Broadway in downtown Soho in New York City, and she had a wonderful, I think his name was Rick. Not sure, but he was just terrific, energetic, compassionate, wild, wacky. But what clothes they turned out. Oh, absolutely. And on top of that, uh, another gal who was in the uh, makeup uh, trailer, Bunny Hopper. Bunny Hopper, get it? Uh -huh. she, was, uh, she was Chuck Adamson's wife. Oh, okay. And uh, they were boyfriend and girlfriend, or man friend and woman friend for a while. And uh, uh, she was terrific. Um, she ran that, uh, that trailer like nobody's business. And <laughs> we had, uh, of course, incredible um, uh, guest stars like Pam Greer. Yes. Richie Charbonneau. Uh, and I can't. I, I, you know, I, I can't believe I forgot Darlan Fugel. Oh, yeah. God bless, rest her soul. She died far too young, before many of us. And uh, she was just a sweet lady and a real wonderful horsewoman. And, um, you know, I, or, you know, she was, I mean, to be uh, Dennis Farina's wife, you know, that's a heavy duty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, um, Gary Sinise's wife was on the show, oh. uh, as as well as Gary and a lot of the Steppenwolf guys and women, and uh, uh, Kelly was her name. Uh, no, Moira Kelly. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, Moira Kelly, and uh, of course, I can't leave out. My girlfriend on the show, <laughs> Cecilia Peck. Yes. <laughs> Garvin Field. I don't know what happened to our relationship. It disappeared in an elevator in the Ambassador Hotel. <laughs> I was actually going to mention her too, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, Cecilia and I, you know, I, I followed her. We still follow one another. And uh, she has led an incredible life. And... Um, has done some amazing things in her life as well. And uh, gosh, I um, I wrote down a few here. Let me see. Omimi Leader. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Iasberg, who uh, both of them were just incredible uh, directors. In fact, uh, uh, Mimi Leader uh, did that wonderful, I think it was a Kevin Spacey or courtroom uh, episode that we had where... Uh, uh, Wang and uh, Farina were throwing the log book back and forth to each other. Jeez, <laughs> uh, who did I leave out? Oh, you know, we get to we get to work with people after we've done uh, work early in our careers. We run into the same people later in our careers. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Margaret Avery was one of those people. She's a wonderful actress. And uh, we uh, we met one another on another, uh, a different show a while ago. And i um, forgotten the name of it now. But um, uh, Pam Greer was incredible. And um, uh, who else? In the, in the Pam Greer world? and Lang were great together. Yeah, they were. They were. And that was, I mean, come on. 
talking biracial uh, relationship. Yeah. I mean, we were, uh, it was, and uh, we had a few transvestites on the show too. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was, it was a naked, it was naked. You know what I'm saying? It was with, without all the cuss words. You know, we, yeah. I think, um, you know, I look back on that show and I haven't, I haven't seen a frame of it um, <laughs> since, since we did it. And I remember the pilot uh, so vividly in that movie theater. Uh, I can always remember frame for frame. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm trying to think of um, well, to plug it. It is on Peacock. You know the guy. <laughs> the guy that uh, got killed in the. Oh, what's his name? Wonderful. Oh, uh, yeah. He's uh because he went on to Rusty Miss World. Rusty William Russ. Yes, absolutely. Otherwise, otherwise known as Rusty. Um, he did a beautiful job. Yeah. And, and uh. You know, I don't know if any uh, Lorraine Bracco. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. And <laughs> Gilfoyle, who's my friend, and uh, we are a mutual admiration society. I think he's just great. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, I didn't want to leave anybody out. Sure, know, yeah. Directors and so many uh, wonderfully talented people. I will say that somebody who surprised me when I was doing the rewatch was uh, Dice. Oh, yeah. Andrew Dice. Yeah. Uh, he blew my mind when he came. I couldn't believe this guy was for real. <laughs> I'm still not sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, I, uh, you know, it was, it was just so odd. Uh, the, some of the characters were just... Um, uh, you know, Michael and whoever made those decisions. And, you know, it was, uh, you know, Michael, it was based on something a little deeper than just what you see in front of you. Yeah. He does that a lot, you know. I mean, right now he's in Italy doing research for Heat 3. <laughs> right? I'm in. I'm in when it comes out. <laughs> he wants to know every little morsel, every little thing, you know, and <laughs> to feed that, that vision. But yeah. anyway, I, I thank you for this uh, wonderful opportunity to get together with uh, my pals. And um, I, uh, I wish I could do this with every show. <laughs> I mean, the exception of one. Um, Tell me that off, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't last very long. Okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful world. It's a wonderful business. And uh, art can lift you up. And so for the people that are out there are not artists, that are not involved in the creative world, but are building other things that, possibly more useful, but always know that the creative people that are doing this work are multi-talented and varied all across the board. And they do that to touch something inside of all of us. And sometimes it's hard to build that. Yeah. Sometimes it just happens. And I know the moments I've had in movies and in the theater that I'll never forget. Yeah. And that's the business we're in. And I'm so proud of the people and the experience and my good fortune to be on Crime Story. Excellent. I'll tell you, I, 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 as you can tell, I'm enjoying doing this little interview series of mine. And I, I'm yeah. trying to... I came up with the idea of picking people who had connections that aren't always as immediate or as, or as current uh, as the average person. Like uh, one well, of the other examples, uh, John Ross Bowie, uh, when I interviewed him with uh, Peter Jacobson, 
they had done a uh, very short-lived sitcom together in 2003 with Scott Foley. And that they hadn't really seen each other since then. So I, I reached out to Bowie. He said, absolutely. You get Peter Jacobson, I'll do it. <laughs> and, and Peter was in. You keep digging. You keep talking <laughs> people because there are people out there that really would love to do something like this. And, yeah. uh, you know, not everybody says... Inviting and as welcoming as Bill Campbell and uh, and myself, uh, but hey, I'm a I'm an open book. <laughs> I can't help it. I can always still we can still do that episode with you and Patty Lapone. I would love it. <laughs> you know, if she wanted to do it, I would do it. All right, but I don't I... think it's going to happen. <laughs> but I do. Uh, but I I am thinking of Patty. Today, and from the moment I heard about her brother Bobby dying yeah. recently, I didn't know he was sick, and uh, I knew him briefly, very briefly, and uh, but uh, I'm sorry, and I my my condolences, sincere condolences, to the entire Lapone family. Uh, uh, much too young, even at seventy something, just much too young. Oh, I will make the pitch. I mean, you you never know. Sure. Yeah, if we can include Kelly and uh, and, um, and and Chris in that as well, and maybe a couple of uh, oh, pages. Man. <laughs> hey, look, I used to watch it all the time, so I'd be all in on that. Oh, well, God bless you, man. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, to all my fans or friends or family out there, I really. Uh, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, what Alex is going to put forward here. Awesome, man. Thanks so much. All right. Thank uh, you. You have a good one, Bill. Thank God you. bless. Same. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.